I'm Fraser Napier and I'm an event coordinator with the Scottish Book Trust and these are my five tips for filming at home on mobile phone. So tip number one is camera settings. Uh, when you're filming on a mobile phone, you'll probably find that your camera settings are set to the factory default, which is normally a lower resolution than what the camera can actually film at. So for iPhone, you wanna go into settings, you want to scroll down to camera, uh, you want to click on record video and you'll see some options. So there's 720p HD at 30 frames per second right up at the top and it goes all the way down to 4K at 60 frames per second. Uh, most people, unless you're planning to slow footage down in slow motion, 4K at 30 frames per second is probably what you want to be filming on. That's pretty good. The other thing to bear in mind when filming using a mobile phone is you've got two cameras. You've got your front facing camera and your rear facing camera. This one's obviously much larger, lets in more light, uh, and that's gonna be hit. That's a higher resolution as well. And um, this front facing one is much smaller, and although you can see yourself on the screen, um, the, it, it's, actually, it's, it's actually not a very good resolution. I, I wouldn't recommend using this if you can help it. So tip number two is light. Uh, now, I'm standing next to quite a large window on a cloudy, overcast day, but it is throwing enough light um, that it's um, you know, showing up my face and my amazing cardigan. Um, so this is not a bad place to be standing for filming. What you want to avoid is actually this, which is having the light source directly behind you. Tip number three is audio. Now we have these small lapel mics that just clip onto your t-shirt, cable runs down the t-shirt, um, and it plugs directly into your phone. I would highly recommend them because it increases the audio uh, fantastically. I've actually got a video uh, demonstrating this. Hopefully whatever I'm saying can be heard okay. There's a fair bit of noise going on. Here's the van with an engine running. Uh, that would be great if you could still hear me. I'll just unplug it. So this is now with uh, just iPhone's onboard mic. Hopefully this also Sounds okay. Tip number four is using a tripod where possible. This uh, helps to increase the um, high production uh, sort of feel of your video. If you've got light and you've got audio, the next thing would be having a steady shot. So right now, this is mounted on a tripod that stands up to eye level, which is roughly where you want the camera. Tip number five is composition. You'd really want to um, avoid this sort of um, this sort of angle. Avoid this too. This is also something I've I've seen quite a lot. So, quick recap. Tip number one is set that resolution nice and high, and make sure you're using the biggest lens you've got on the camera phone. Tip number two is light. Uh, film when it's during the day near a window, so you're getting lots of natural light flowing in. Tip number three is audio. Use a lapel mic where you can, or any sort of microphone that you can easily connect into your mobile phone. It will boost your footage a thousand percent. Tip number four is use a tripod where you can. Uh, even if you don't have a tripod, you can improvise with anything. A pile of books uh, can work really well for setting your phone up and holding it steady. And tip number five is composition. Uh, just have a think about where you're standing in the shot, maybe even what's in the background as well. So I hope these are helpful uh, and useful and I hope you have fun making lots of exciting new fresh content for us to enjoy at home.